Last minute shoppers like myself are filling stores around Adelaide. We are the 25% of people who leave their present buying to the final trading hours. If you expect to, to have queues and expect to have to wait, you're fine. If you're really hung up about time, well then I think it can be frustrating. The retail industry hopes what this group buys will make up for what they say is a dismal season for sales, overtaken by online shopping. It's ruining the market. Uh, I know I'm a wholesaler of children's toys as well, so I've seen the market dip in retail. Um, and it is a lot due to, re um, to online shopping. No, I've shopped in stores, like mostly in town and at local shopping centres. I don't do online shopping because I don't... I don't trust the whole like putting your like credit card numbers over online and I don't know I think it's better to see what you're buying first and like if you need to try it on or something so it's just more convenient. I'm not an online shopper, I like to see and feel what I buy. It's 11am in the mall and it's pretty calm but come lunchtime while lining up in queues, trying to get anywhere quickly or finding what I wanted has already been sold, I'd be thinking that I'd better get better acquainted with my laptop. It's easier. It's also cheaper at the moment. Um, you can shop around from your own home. Um, one computer you can compare 10 prices rather than coming out. I do enjoy looking and feeling the product and everything else and having the experience when you're shopping, but hey, when you're saving some money, it's easy. There's been confusion over trading hours, reports of bad customer service, but now, if we wait half an hour in a store without being served, we have the choice to go home, sit on our couch, get a coffee and order it online. In a bid to increase sales, pre-Christmas specials are everywhere. It started with department and chain stores, which are actively marketing their sales this year, and is now filtered down to local boutiques. It's great for people like me, but what does this say about the state of retail in Australia?